It's just a website or phone call away. Money waiting to be claimed by agencies in charge of spending your money. It all falls under the state's unclaimed property division through the state treasurer's office. The problem is, all that cash just sits there because no one from city and county governments seems to be checking. So we did. We're talking about money. Some of it can be real serious money. We wanted to know how much of that money Pine Belt counties, cities, and school districts aren't cashing in on but should be. Searching through the numbers from the state treasurer's office, as of November 15th, every county has money waiting to be claimed. When it comes to finding all this out, all we had to do was ask. Michelle Williams with the state treasurer's office says it's easy to not know. Does it surprise you at all that these agencies have money just sitting around essentially? Uh, you know, for the same reasons that a lot of people don't realize the money's out there, a lot of times the companies or the, the municipalities or school boards don't realize it's out there either. According to the numbers between Walthall, Marion, Lamar, Forrest, Perry, Covington, Jones, Wayne, Jasper, and Jefferson Davis counties, there is almost $50,000 on the table. Forrest County, including the cities of Hattiesburg and Petal, tops the list, with more than $15,000 just sitting there. More than $1,100 has not been claimed by the Chancery Clerk, and more than $1,400 not claimed by Justice Court. The largest amount in Forest County and the second highest in the Pine Belt is for the tax collector's office in Petal, with just more than $3,800 waiting to be claimed. When you look at these numbers, what goes through your mind seeing that there's money out there for this city? Well, I'm just curious as to, as to what it's for and, and how long it's been there. Petal Mayor Hal Marks says he made a call after we brought it to his attention. He says that money is apparently a check from Chevron, which no one was aware of. Every bit helps uh, when you're on a tight budget. Even $1,000 uh, is money that you can spend on other things the city needs. It's the same story in Marion County, including the city of Columbia, with more than $14,000 looking for bank accounts. More than 6000 of that is for the county tax assessor's office alone. That's the highest single amount across the board in the Pine Belt. What goes through your mind seeing that the county has this money just sitting there? Well, I mean, it looks good. I mean, every little bit helps. Uh. Marion County Supervisor and Board President Randy Dice says that money can be put to good use. We had an air conditioning unit to go out, you know, a central unit to go out, so that would, this money would replace a unit. While some claims are small, when you add them up, tight budgets can benefit. But what we found is no one in city or county governments is tasked with checking. This is essentially money they can put in their general funds. It is. It is. It's their money to do with, you know, however, whatever their rules say. The governments just need to do their due diligence. They really do. They just have to do that. And you know what? They could check with us just like what you did. If somebody checks with us and says, hey, do we have any money? We go in there and we look. Williams says because of staffing, the treasurer's office isn't able to individually notify everyone who has money sitting around, but does try to publicize it. City and county leaders we spoke with say they will be keeping a closer eye on what's out there. I'll try to make sure that, uh, you know, we periodically check that uh, website just to make sure we're not on there again. I just appreciate y'all uh, y'all following up on this uh, and bringing our attention to it. We're happy to say since we started looking into this, the treasurer's office contacted every county, city, and school board on our list so the claims process can begin. That's usually a four to six week turnaround before that money is handed over. If you want to take a look at the list, we've got it with this story over on our website at WDAM.com. You'll also find a link to see if you have any money just waiting to be claimed. Mike McDaniel, WDAM Investigates.